from the title, you guys know it. We're going to get into this FMCSA. You know, they're bringing up that new rule that uh, Florida uh, Highway Safety wanted to make a petition and change the CDL. And so we got to talk about this, the way they do their testing. And, you know, my truckers, comment down below. What are your thoughts? You know, uh, Florida wanted to basically, if you failed one of the three parts of the skills test, they wanted you to be able to just come back another day and just pass the stuff that you felt. Right now, what you got to do is if you fail even the road test, hey, if you come back, you got to take all three again. You got to do that pre-trip. You got to do the in cap and you got to do the road test and you got to pass them all in order. Right. So let's get into today's video. What's going on, Mount Truckers? Uh, welcome to Mount Truck News. Email us at MontreckNews at gmail.com. We have a great friend of the show, sends me news articles all day long, so I really appreciate you. Has an email here that says, I know there are a lot of drivers who have a pet. I'm struggling and broken. Please ask your followers for prayers. After nine years, me and Baxter had to say goodbye. I'm crushed and need prayers. And, you know, I asked for some pictures, right? And so uh, some pictures were sent. And this pup is beautiful. And for all the dog lovers out there and animal lovers out there that have had a road dog with you or animal uh, road animal with you and just keeping you company in this crazy world, you know, can you please pray for my guy? Because, um, yeah, you know, we appreciate you, Baxter, for keeping this driver sane, alive and feeling loved all these years. So, uh, my truckers, please pray, you know, uh, for Baxter. I'm a big pet lover myself, so I get this. Uh, I actually have my guy right here. Get over here, dude. So you guys know Buppy. You've seen him. He's an old raggedy uh, German spitz. Some people think he's a Pomeranian, but he's really just, you know, fat. But overall, he was on the road with me for many years, so I feel the pain. So overall, um, yeah. Just want to share a little love to our guy here. For today's video, this is a big one right here. You know, the FMCSA, are they getting smarter? Are they the Sue Lawless? I kind of like this lady. That's all I got to say, right? Um, she's making a lot of decisions that are making a lot of sense here. Florida uh, wanted a new rule uh, for flexibility for CDL skills testing. And I remember we reported about this and there were a lot of comments where people were very unhappy with what Florida wanted to do. So what Florida was petitioning for and wanting this to go nationwide, of course, as well, is that there is three parts uh, to the skills test, right? Um, it goes pre-trip inspection, uh, basic vehicle control skills, and then on the road skills. So what Florida was saying that they would like is if you fail one of those three, that you could come back at a later time and just finish up what you failed. So if you did the pre-trip inspection, you passed that, and then you did the basic vehicle control skills and you failed that, you could just go back and you wouldn't have to go and do the pre-trip again. Right. And there was an outrage for this. People are like, man, that does not sound safe. And the reason why Florida Department of Highway Safety says that they want to do this is they say that there is a trucker shortage. I can't tell you how many times I got to tell you there's no trucker shortage. Look how crappy the rates are right now. I mean, trucking is in the hole right now. The, the economy is extremely soft and we have enough truck drivers. You know, we just don't have enough work. <laughs> that's that's the truth, right? And so, you know, the FMCSA came back and just said that they were not convinced about this. It said federal regulators are not convinced that the potential for lost wages for more prospective truck drivers outweighs the safety benefits of current rules on how states must administer the CDL skills test, right? Um, under the regulation, if an applicant fails one part of the test, he or she may not start the next part, but instead must return on a different day to take part in all three parts once again. The National Tank Truck Carriers and a couple other organizations believe that given the well-documented commercial driver shortage, which we say there isn't one, 
It is imperative that we reduce barriers to individuals attaining the proper credentials for operating commercial vehicles, the group stated in support of an exemption to allow truck drivers to be able to, if they fail one, to come back later time and just pass that one that they failed, right? So the FMCSA acknowledges those assertions, but also highlighted a statement submitted by Comptroller Tim Cordola, who in opposing Florida's petition said allowing an applicant who fails the pre-trip inspection to immediately continue to the test is not only unsafe, but irresponsible. In denying Florida's petition, FMCSA Acting Deputy Administrator Sue Lawless said conducting the elements of the skills test in the required order is the best practice for the safety of the CDL applicant, the examiner, and any motorist who must share the public roadway with the CDL applicant during the on-road portion of the CDL skills test. So overall, mother truckers, you know, Sue Lawless, I think you're on to something. You know, she might be acting deputy administrator, but so far, some of the things that she's thinking of, it makes sense. I'm sure in the future, there's going to be some things that I'm going to fight her over. But this one right here, I think it makes sense. The CDL uh, rules for getting your CDL does not need to be more flexible. If anything, needs to be harder because that CDL test is very easy to pass. And I know in class, there were people that didn't pass it. But I'll tell you what, when you get your CDL and you're brand new, you do not have all the skills to be on the road. I mean, that is just a fact. Uh, you know, that's just scratching the surface, especially now that they're taking away like alley docks and all sorts of parallel parking. I mean, there's a lot of skills that are being taken away here. So if anything, you know, the rules should not change. So FMCSA, Sue, Sue Lawless, you know, good on you. I'm, I'm glad that you said no to this. And I think it's a good thing, you know, Things in life should be what they are, but safety should actually always be first. So, my truckers, comment down below.